<clears throat> how y'all doing this morning? I'm getting ready to head out to go to work this morning. And uh, I'll be through about 12 o'clock. But uh, <clears throat> something's happened overnight that I need to tell y'all about. Um, I did my breaking live stream last night and uh, my sources that I reported with on my live stream I found out this morning that the US ambassador was told that the United States has that was uh they said that on on a Thursday that the United States has six days to uh the US and NATO have six days to get out of uh Ukraine or Russia has said it will attack NATO and Ukraine in six days. That was on, uh, that, that, that had came out on Thursday, all right? Well, last night, that would have made it uh, five days, the report says. Now here is, this is uh, Saturday. So, since they are ahead of us in time, this is Saturday. Is this making it four? I'm bringing it to y'all live this morning before I go to work, just to let you all know what was what had uh, transpired that we just found out about. That ties in to what uh, Putin has said that he was going to make his speech on the 21st. Think about it. All right. Could it possibly be, now this is me talking, could it possibly be on the 21st is when Putin says, It's a, I gave you your chances. I gave you all your chances. We are having to defend ourselves. <clears throat> we have no choice. Russia is under attack. We have no choice but to do this. Godspeed and to all. I wonder if the speech will be something like that. So y'all, Let's see here. We got these few days to prepare, y'all. Russia knows that their nuclear arsenal will be attacked by NATO. And I've already told y'all that the United States makes up 70% of NATO. All right? Now let me plainly speak in my words. If Russia's mainland is somehow hit their nuclear arsenal, in my opinion, United States mainland will be hit. And how many different places, I do not know. But based on what everything I'm seeing and hearing and the context in which it is said, this is my assessment.
So you have a, still a few days to prepare to get your canned goods, your water. And I firmly believe, um, based on what I have seen, and all this, and from what I know, there will be a, uh, a power outage. And this ain't gonna be no long-term power outage. This ain't gonna be no long-term power outage. If you get what I'm saying. So if you don't like eating cold food out of a can, you might wanna find other ways to heat your food up inside your home that you got the windows covered. Well, you cannot go outside. I'm not trying to scare, I'm not trying to scare a soul at all. I'm being real right now. I'm being real, okay? Being as real as I can be. So, yeah, if you don't want to eat cold food, I know a lot of you like to, but that's a thought. Power outage, power outage means no cell phones, no Facebook, none of that stuff. Total communications blackout. So, there you go, y'all. That's the news for Saturday this morning before I go to work. Uh, I just wanted to share it with y'all. And uh, I wish y'all a good day. I was planning on trying to have some fun today, but I don't have time to. Now, now that now that Russia's given a timetable, I don't have to. Time is of the ex essence. It's time to e expedite topping off preps. I'm talking about expedite. In my opinion, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all do what you want to do, but that's what I'm going to do, okay? The best of my ability. Anyway, y'all, I'm heading out. You hear the beautiful birds singing? That may not last much longer. Hearing those beautiful birds singing up there. Y'all, have a great day. This is JW. I report this stuff because I care about y'all. May God bless every one of you.